Valentine's Day. <laughs> yeah, so we've just got on the bus and yeah. had a good time in Harare. Yeah. Everyone's climbing on and then we'll get on our way. Yeah, so we're on the bus to Bulawayo, but we're going to stop off in Gweru and spend a few days there at Antelope Park. Uh, yeah, it's been a lovely few days in Harare and now we're on our way. The bus ride was good. We went with CityLink bus, which are a bit more expensive, we soon realized. But they had comfy seats, USB plugs and aircon above us. Lots of legroom, especially in the front row, and a lever to recline the chair. The windows are huge, giving great views of the landscape and towns we went through along the way. It was a smooth ride, Sky was even able to edit. Crazy ride. When we arrived, we were introduced to Buckbeak, the four-month-old rescue secretary bird. Shame, she suffered from rickets early on, but is slowly gaining strength every day. She's such a cutie. Are you hungry? Hmm? Are you hungry? What's his name? Oh, I don't know. Bingo or something. I don't know his name. I bet you must be feeding a horse and then push a lion right there. Hey guys, so yeah, it's the end of the day and Lance and I thought we'd just catch you up on what we've done today. So first we started off with Uncle John dropping us at the bus station at 7 o'clock yeah. and we caught a city link bus. It was a bus from Harare to Bulawayo um, but we got off at Kweru and one of Robin's friends that we became friends with the other day, Willem, he has been kind enough to host us here at um, Antelope Park. Antelope Park. So yeah, we made it here safely. We really had such an awesome afternoon. Yeah, we went for a horse ride. We went for a little, probably about 45 minutes, an hour. Yeah, I think it was long. Yeah, our horse ride around the farm, so we got to go do some game. That was really so cool. Like Lance and I were a bit anxious in the beginning because we're not horse people or we haven't really been around horses before, like properly. Yeah. And so we both got on these horses. <laughs> But um, eventually, like a few minutes yeah, we in, got the hang of it, oh, it's so cool! Oh my word, we literally got like meters away from zebra and wildebeest. Yeah, some impala. Yeah, it was mm. so nice. We missed the giraffe, but I was quite grateful because I heard the horse I was on did not really love giraffes. So anyway, but it was so nice. Really enjoyed it so much. And then we came back, enjoyed a cup of coffee here. And the place or the house that Willem lives in or stays in is literally surrounded by lion enclosures. So, like, we, yeah, we're literally mm. sitting having coffee, and all of these lions started like roaring and making yeah. those hectic sounds. <laughs> so, that was really cool to see or hear and yeah. see. Um, yeah. Yeah, it was very cool. Awesome day. It really was an awesome day. We just had a little Valentine's dinner where all the guests um, that are staying in the lodges or in the surrounding lodges here at Antelope Park went to. So that was really cool. Had lots of fun. And now we're going to go to bed and wake up tomorrow and have some more awesome experiences. Yeah. Yeah. The morning started off with checking on the lion enclosures before Sky went off to teach the community school children and I worked with the wildlife team. Wow, we got so close to these beautiful cats. 
they made us feel so small and a little bit scared. So this is Rosie, we've met her at Antelope Park. How are you? Very well, thank you. A bit yeah. soggy. Yeah. yeah. So let's tell the vlog what we're doing. Uh, well, the plan was to go out on a game count, so going around the park counting zebras, giraffes, impala. We got to about five in Parlour, <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> and then <laughs> three in Shore. <laughs> yeah. So we're currently taking shelter in the workshop. Yep. And we have said hello to Textiles, which are just in this room here, where they make all the uniforms out of their park. Yeah. Yeah, they are making a very friendly bunch. Mm -hmm. so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so now we're just waiting for it to call, so we can continue. Woohoo! This morning we went with Danny to get content of the volunteers riding through the cross country course, which was awesome to watch them, jumping over each of the different jumps. We then spent some time in the stables with all the horses, watching how the team and volunteers do the medical for each horse, if they have any injuries or wounds, as well as different massage techniques to relax the horse's muscles after the ride. Feeding the horses. Later in the afternoon, we took Buckbeak, the rescue secretary bird, to the dam for a walk, and we couldn't believe how much better she was doing. She even tried to run at one point. We were all shocked. Afterwards, we were so lucky to get the opportunity to walk the gentle giants from the park back to their nighttime bomers. Incredible. Actually, surreal. They are one of my favorite animals, and we were walking with them. Talk about feeling small and insignificant. They were massive, yet they treaded so lightly. Hence why I've nicknamed them the Gentle Giants. This was probably my best moment of the trip so far. Crazy, I can't believe we're doing this. Our sundowners on the polo field was rained out, or rather, poured out. <laughs> so we went home and played some games instead. It was still a lot of fun. The next day, we went on our last horseback safari. We both thoroughly enjoyed the horse ride at Antelope Park.
Orisei That means hello friends in Shona. I could have it a little bit wrong, but I'm trying. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, we thought we'd just update you a little bit about our amazing week here yeah, at Antelope Park. Yeah, we've had so much fun. Yeah, we've been able to do a lot of horse riding. Um, we've done a walk with the elephants. Um, yeah, and we get one last chance to do it again now. Yeah, we so leave. we do a short walk with them now this morning. And then we also got to do um, a lion feed to see yeah. a lion feed. So they um, they have a few lions here and they put the meat right close and then the lions come charging in. That was incredible to see. Yeah. Yo, that was crazy. And did you say the horseback safari? Yeah. Oh, Yo. yes, yeah. We did a horseback safari. That was yeah. so amazing. And Sky went and helped in one of the schools. Oh, yeah. I went to community. a local community. We went to two schools. The first one was just a normal primary school, but they have 2,000 children, maybe even more, in the school. So they do it on like a rotation basis where they split them into three groups. And yeah, so we told one of the grade six groups about um, two of the big five animals, the lion and the leopard. And then after that, we went to another school where we helped the children with learning dis disabilities. So that was really amazing for me. So while I was at the community, Lance was, what were you doing again? Yeah, I was working with the wildlife, so we just loaded hay bales for the horses and chopped down some trees for the elephants Yeah, and yeah, just a little bit of the wildlife. Yeah, I think, did you do the boma or no? No. <laughs> no, yeah. But yeah, we've been up to so much here and... Yeah, we've loved our time here at Antelope Made Park. the most amazing friends, met so many nice people and really couldn't have had a better experience we actually saw sad to be leaving yeah we wish we could stay longer yeah but yeah memories to last a lifetime for sure Yo, the elephants are so quick. <laughs> yeah. Nice morning stroll with, with the elephants. They're walking so fast. So that was our uh, morning. early morning walk with the elephants. <laughs> So one of the activities you can do here at Antelope Park. Oh, it's been such an amazing week here. We've Absolutely to, loved it. Yeah, oh. we've lived the most amazing experiences. Um, oh, yeah. Well, here we can really keep going. <laughs> They're walking quite quickly. Yeah. <laughs> I know it's good up there, What an amazing time we had at Antelope Park, making new friends and special memories that we will never forget. It was then time to head to Victoria Falls, which was an interesting bus ride, so stay tuned to see how it went. 